Hey everyone, welcome back! Today I'm going to be opening up Dora and Friends Animal Adoption Center. This playset features Alana, Dora's friend who loves animals, three pets, and lots of accessories for each pet. Let's open it up and check it out! And here is everything that comes with the Dora and Friends Animal Adoption Playset. Let's take a closer look. There's a kitten, a puppy, and a baby iguana. Do you guys know what a baby iguana is called? It's called a hatchling. The playset also includes a pink doghouse, a purple cat tree, and a blue toy that looks like maybe an iguana could hang out there, or a puppy, or a cat. Do you guys know who this is? This is Elena, Dora's friend. She loves animals, and she volunteers at the Animal Adoption Center. Elena can sit and stand. Elena, can you give us a tour of the Animal Adoption Center? Why, sure! Here is the gate, or el portón in Spanish. Here is the scale, where we weigh the animals to make sure they're healthy enough to go home with their owners. In Spanish, the word for scale is balanza. Can you say balanza? And over here is the bathtub. This is where we give the animals a bath so when they go home, they're nice and clean. And up here is the fish tank, or la pecera. We also have fish available for adoption here. Thank you for that tour, Elena. Now why don't you show us how to use the scale? Oh, sure. You simply put the animal on the green part of the scale, and then you read the blue dial to see how much they weigh. So each of the little charms has a little opening right here that fits right on the peg on the scale. And when there's no animal on the scale, it reads at the 12 o'clock mark. So it's zeroed out. And when I put the cat on here, now you can see it's a little bit past the 12 o'clock. So we'll say that this cat maybe weighs about two pounds. Now let's try the puppy. It looks like the puppy weighs just about the same. And now the hatchling. The hatchling looks like the one that weighs the very least of all three. It doesn't look like the scale dial moved at all. This playset comes with a lot of cool features, but I'm going to use some Play-Doh to create a bed for each animal so that they have a cozy place to sleep at night. Okay, I'm going to start by using some pink Play-Doh to make a kitty cat bed. Okay, so we'll roll out the pink Play-Doh. And then you can use whatever kind of circular object for cutting it out. I'm using an egg here. It's big enough for her. And now we'll create a border for the bed. I'm going to use this extruder for that part. And there's the kitty cat's bed. Nice and cozy. I'm also gonna use this extruder with a dot pattern to make some yarn for the cat to play with. Now that kitty's all squared away, let's make a bed for the dog. So roll out some green Play-Doh. And then I want his bed to fit inside of his doghouse, so I'll just use the doghouse to cut the bed out to see how big it needs to be. There we go. Fits just right. So baby iguanas like to sleep on brown wrapping paper. I'm going to use this tool here and some brown Play-Doh to create a bed for the baby iguana. 
Now all the animals have a cozy place to sleep at night. Wonderful! Thanks for creating these beds! Dora just called and said that she found a stray puppy. Can you create a bed for her too? Oh, here's Dora now! And here she comes with a puppy. One, two, three, three puppies! Dora, I thought that there was only going to be one puppy when you called. Well, yeah, I was walking through my barrio and I saw a puppy and I brought some dog biscuits so that the puppy would follow me and next thing I know, two more puppies were following me too. Is that going to be okay? I'm sure we have room to fit them all. We'll just have to create some more beds for them. The puppies look so cozy now. They do. Thank you so much for bringing them in today. No problemo. Dora, was that your phone? Yeah, I just got a text from Kate. What did it say? Mm, it just has a picture of a cerdito. Um, I just got another text message too. Mine just has a picture of a pollo. What in the world is Kate thinking? Hi Kate, I got your text message. It makes sense now. So you found a pig? Yeah, I'm glad you got it. I didn't really have time to text, so I just sent you an emoji of a pig. I found her in the woods. Do you think you have room for this piggy at the Animal Adoption Center? Well, yeah, I think we can do that. I'll just make a mud bath for her. But Kate, I gotta ask, what's up with this text with the chicken? Well, I was in such a hurry to get here that I couldn't find the emoji for an owl. An owl? You mean you brought an owl here? Yeah, here he is. He's really sweet. Do you think we can keep him? Oh, sure, why not? He can stay upstairs. Okay, you guys, that's all for today's Dora the Explorer Animal Adoption Center. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I had fun making it. If you like this video and want to see more, click on the like button and leave me a comment below and let me know which of the animals was your favorite. My favorite was definitely the little owl. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Another video, that's the end. Come back soon or we'll miss you, friend. DCTC. We do toy reviews. DCTC. And we play with Play-Doh, too. Skits, pranks, eggs and toys. We make videos for girls and boys. Uh-huh, uh-huh, that's right. <laughs>